Now, it's not easy to grow grapes in a hot desert climate like this, seeing as this is only one of two vineyards in the entire state of Nevada. Now, most of this winery's grapes come from Napa Valley in Northern California, but this vineyard is expected to produce about 2,000 cases of award-winning Zinfandel this year alone. Um, my name is Gretchen Loken. My husband and I own the winery here. I do the majority of the winemaking end of things. Basically, to make wines, you gotta have grapes. So first thing you're gonna do is harvest your grapes. After you do that, you take your grapes, put them through a machine called a de-simmer crusher, which is gonna yank the stems out, and then if you want to, crush the grapes also. So what you're left with is this chunky mixture called the must. It's made up of your skins, your seeds, your pulp, and your juice. Take that chunky mixture, add the yeast, and then that's what starts your fermentation process. So the winery was started in 1990 uh, with the idea that grape growing uh, could uh, happen out here in the Prump Valley. And there's been about 15 or 16 years uh, since then of trial and error, still working at it. Mojave Desert is not the most conducive place in the country for growing grapes. But that's when, the, that's when the winery got started. My wife and I took the property over in January of 2003. Pahrump Valley Winery is considered to be one of the crown jewels of the Pahrump Valley. Right now, the owners are in the middle of a renovation, ready to make this winery state of the art. But these vineyards have been producing award-winning wine for 16 years. Also, there's a great wine tasting bar, which as you can see, I've already sampled. We've pretty much outgrown our uh, facility, and uh, so we are now in the process of completely renovating the winery itself and the tasting room, and when we're complete, we will have three times the retail space. And so we do uh, get fruit off of uh, our little uh, vineyard here, but it will not suffice our needs. This year, we anticipate that we will get about 150 to 200 cases of wine off of our vineyard, and that, of course, puts us a little short of the 10,000 cases that we currently do. Uh, later this year, we'll introduce and put up for sale the first estate bottle Zinfandel wine in the history of the state of Nevada. In fact, it'll be the first estate bottle wine in Nevada. Right now, we're in the wine cellar, which is where you can say all the magic happens. What you see here is the old equipment that they're actually clearing out to make room for the new state-of-the-art equipment. In just a few short months, this place will look completely different, at which point we'll bring you back to show you the many upgrades they've made. For DNN.TV, I'm Jade Mohammadi. Thank you.